Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we would be studying about a doji pattern which is known as gravestone. Now if you don't know what doji pattern is, I would highly recommend go to the doji video first of the technical analysis series and then get back to this video. With that being said, let's begin. Okay, so what exactly is a gravestone uh, doji pattern? Now suppose that you have a doji pattern which gets formed in such a way that the upper wick is higher than the lower wick of the uh, particular given candle. So this is what a doji pattern exactly is. Now what can you expect? You can expect a, according to doji, you can expect a uh, downtrend from this particular position, from this particular point. Now uh, let's try to understand the market psychology behind this. So what exactly is the market psychology? is that there was an uptrend which was going on. Now, what is happening is the upper wig is lower than, uh, is uh, greater than the lower wig. So what could this indicate? That the sellers are overpowering, is trying to push the market in a downward direction. And they are actually overpowering. That's why the upper wig is very huge as compared to the lower wig. Now again, if you don't understand all this, please watch uh, the um, technical analysis series from the beginning and you'll understand why this is happening. So the sellers are actually trying to push downward and they are actually, uh, you know, successful in pushing the price downward, um, you know, uh, rather than the buyers trying to push the price upwards. So therefore, because of this push, you can expect a downtrend which will now begin. So this is what Gravestone uh, Doji pattern, you know, uh, says. And now let's try to look at an example. So simple, my uh, simple my market psychology, but uh, you know very powerful one, and this is what the gravestone doji pattern actually looks like. So here you can see that okay, the sellers have pushed the down and pushed the price down, and here you see although there was an uptrend, here the sellers have pushed the price down, and then now you can see that there was a heavy sell off. Now, uh, let's spot other doji patterns as well, uh, other uh, gravestone patterns as well, which were formed. So, have a look at this particular position. The upper wick is actually greater than the lower wick. And then again, you see that uh, there was a drown end which happened. Then you can have a look at over here, where you see that it was a gravestone pattern. Um, people also call it um, you know um, people call it with other names as well but uh, understand the logic behind the market psychology behind what is happening so you can take it as a gravestone pattern as well but you see that there was this particular pattern failed and actually the stock went upwards um so always uh, never use gravestone patterns on gravestone doji on its own look at other indicators as well so for example if i take this as my resistance line the gravestone pattern happened somewhere near the resistance line therefore this particular pattern i can say that this particular pattern worked over here but there were uh, this particular pattern did not happen near the resistance line that's the reason why this particular pattern did not work so i'll look for other indicators as well uh you know for the gravestone pattern now talking about the stop loss and the stop loss will be my support line over here and I'll book profit whenever it reaches somewhere near the resistance line or uh, sorry, uh, the, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm, I've worked out a lot today. So a bit stressed out. Um, so what you, um, the resistance line, if you, if you see it somewhere near the resistance line, that's when you, uh, get a trading confirmation and you will book profit somewhere near the support line. So, you can book profit somewhere here or you can take your resistance line somewhere here uh, depending upon the back prices you'll see and you'll book profit near the resistance line okay now um let's spot other gravestones do i see other gravestones i do see one more gravestone. no i don't see other gravestones happening Okay, so I hope you understand the gravestone pattern, understand the psychology behind it. Don't try to mug things up because the hundreds of patterns you'll get, you know, bogged down. Um, try to understand the micro market psychology that is going on behind uh, any particular pattern. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.